Hey guys, welcome back to Dom's Homestead. So today I've taken out some frozen tomatoes out of the freezer. So every year I end up with tomatoes, a couple bags of tomatoes in my freezer just because they don't all ripen at the same time. And I don't like running my canner just for one batch. I'd rather do multiple batches at a time of whatever I'm canning. So I'm gonna go ahead and let these thaw out. It's gonna take quite a while because there's a lot of tomatoes in this bag. And then once they are thawed, I'm going to attempt to make tomato juice. All right, so it's now the next day. It took a full night overnight for the tomatoes to thaw out. So I'm just getting some water into my canner. I'm gonna put that on my stove to boil. And then we're gonna start juicing. All right, so I juiced into my pint size jar, but we can't leave the tomato juice in here and can it right away. We have to heat up our tomato juice because everything when we're canning needs to be hot and right now it's cold. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch the jars. And then this full jar is coming over to the stove where we're gonna heat our tomato juice. So you'll notice, I don't know if you can see, but our tomato juice is a nice pink color right now. Um, so color is often affected by heating. So it, the color should deepen once we warm up our tomato juice and again once we, we can it. all right so I am done juicing all the tomatoes that were in my bag so it made a pretty big batch I'm really pleased last year I didn't have a juicer I was juicing my tomatoes by hand which is totally doable it just takes a lot more time um, and I don't think I was getting as much of a return from my tomatoes by doing it by hand so I'm really pleased with this outcome and I also have I still have another bag of tomatoes in the freezer so I could get double this amount so my canner is warming up. I've just turned it down because our next step is warming up our tomato juice because everything when we're canning needs to be hot, including our jars. So I have went ahead and turned on the element. We're gonna heat this up, bring it to a nice boil. And again, we're gonna see that deepening of the tomato juice, deepening of the color. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do a bit of a cleanup because um, it's a little messy and I have tomato juice smears on my cabinets. And then I'm gonna go ahead and warm, uh, warm up my jars and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, continue with our next steps. Okay, so the tomato juice has a nice boil and you can already see the deepening of the color. The foaminess is normal, that will go away. So that's ready. And then my jars are hot, my lids and rings are hot, sitting in hot water. And then in order for our jars to have the appropriate amount of acidity, we're gonna be adding a tablespoon of lemon juice and some salt just for taste. So we're gonna go ahead and do that next. I'm gonna go get a hot jar. Ooh. Okay, so. 
tablespoon. Lemon juice is a tablespoon per pint. And then our salt is gonna be half a teaspoon. So you can use another tomato juice recipe, but you just need to make sure that it's a trusted source, a good recipe. Um, because especially with water bath canning, you need to make sure that you have the appropriate levels of acidity so that it's safe to water bath can. Okay, so now that we have our tomato or uh, lemon juice and the salt in the jar, we're gonna go and add, go ahead and add our tomato juice. Put a bit of fan here, you might hear it. And we're gonna leave some headroom. You don't want your liquid to be all the way to the top. Go ahead and take out a little bit of liquid because there's a bit too much in here. I don't want quite that much. Okay, so I don't know if you can see here. But this here is an appropriate amount of headroom in every jar. Okay, so then our next step before we put our lid on, you want to clean off the rim of your jar. And I keep touching it and it's hot. So you just clean that off. So you want to make sure that there's going to be an appropriate seal. And then you take your ring and your hot lid. And we're going to go ahead and put that on and you're only putting the ring on to hand tightness. Okay, so not any more than that, you're not yanking down on it. So this one here is ready. So we're gonna put that aside and then I'm gonna keep going with all the other jars, same process. Lemon juice, salt, tomato juice, wipe off the rim and then put a lid on. Um, I've canned all of the tomato juice into our hot jars so before these cool off we're gonna get them into our canner so with the amount of tomatoes that I had in my bag I was able to get five jars so we're gonna grab these one at a time put them in our canner which is at a boil
I have a pretty small canner, so this is a, you know, maximum batch I can do in here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and lower the basket. Okay, so you have to make sure that your water stays at a boil, which it is. So I can go ahead and start my timer and tomato juice needs to process for 40 minutes in the water bath canner. So timer, 40 minutes. So you're just gonna go ahead and watch it. Uh, make sure it stays at a boil the whole entire time. And then after 40 minutes, I will see you back here. gonna turn this off and then the timer as well look at that nice coloring so with the heat you're getting a deeper red There we go. So we have just completed our homemade tomato juice. We're gonna let these cool off and then I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that our lids have popped um, and that the rims are still clean. And you're gonna see a bit of separation in the juice, but again, it's just because it's a natural product, but it's really good. I love making macaroni with this.